forgot to grab my coffee for my first ever coffee talks. Hey guys, Michelle here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then nice to meet you. This is my first ever talk coffee talk and I'm kind of a little bit nervous about this, but I'm in the mood to talk, so lucky for you, you'll be talked to. <laughs> this video is really unplanned. I really kind of feel like it's something I've been meaning to do for a while, but as far as like what I have planned to say, it really is like, it's not gonna follow a nice, nice little flow or like a list or anything like that. It's just gonna be my honest opinion and me talking a lot about just like how I'm feeling, with my coffee in my hand, which is brutal, you know, right now, it takes a bit for hot water to heat, so. This topic is why I regret going to college. Um, to give you an idea too, this story is very much like I went to college and I graduated with a three-year diploma, uh, advanced diploma in business with a concentration in marketing. And then I decided to do another, it would have been four years, but I was able to knock a year off of um, business at university with a concentration in marketing too. In no way whatsoever do I regret the experience of it all. I feel like going to college was not only one of my like favorite times in my life that I like look back on and think of like all the friends I had and just like the life experiences and I grew so much as a person, but I think the fact that college itself just was something that didn't better me in a sort of like rational, like educational way, that is what I'm here to talk about. In no way do I like want to shit on the fact that like I had a great time at college. It's like, it all has to do with like financial matters and the fact that like my college diploma has like not hindered me or anything like that, but it hasn't exactly helped me. So I guess the first thing I'm going to talk about is the fact that financial. Um, financial is the biggest thing here, especially the fact that for college, um, I believe I racked up an OSAP debt of around like $20,000, $25,000, which is like more money than I can even like think of. But if you guys don't know what OSAP is, in case you're not from Ontario, Ontario Student Government Loans. I don't know, that's obviously not the right like acronym or anything like that, but you get loans and you get a little bit of a grant to help you through university and college and then after six months I believe of being graduated you then have to start paying it back with interest uh, Obviously, that's one of those things where I haven't even started paying it back and it scares me Obviously, it's just one of those things that you you hear a lot of the times that student debt is good debt And I really do hope that like having both a diploma and a degree will eventually set me apart and maybe this video won't be relevant and maybe I'll have to make another video when I'm out there looking for jobs but for right now it is the fact that I spent so much money where I could have just done the route where I went straight to university just because it would have been a lot easier. It would have bypassed three years of like studying and now I'm in university studying like classes that I've taken already in college and my heart just isn't there. So again, this is a situation that not everyone like could find themselves in. I'm just letting you know as an Ontario student, this is what I kind of found. Another thing that I found is that a college diploma does not mean as much as a university. Uh, degree which I mean it's pretty obvious to say that like you're spending significant amount of money differences but the thing that's nice is that college diplomas work really well for if you stay in your province if I get a college diploma in Ontario one I find that like if I'm I'm a, I'm a Cambrian College alumni people know what Cambrian College is and they're more likely to look and take interests whereas internationally I'm going to England and I'm applying for jobs there like they don't recognize college as the same thing that I recognize. Actually, ironically, I live in Quebec now and I, like I mentioned constantly that I went to college just cause it's like, <laughs> it's a pretty big thing. Like I did three years of schooling before I came to this different three years of schooling. Um, and so everyone's like, oh yeah, whatever. Like I did college too. But here they have CEGEP, which is a like, something that costs maybe like $200, a beautiful program that's uh, like, I believe it's instead of doing grade 12, you do like, two years or something like that of CEGEP, which is like an intro to university, and then you ended up getting like a year taken off of university, which I did the three years and spent how much money and only got like the same equivalent of the year taken off. Oh, I think I hear my coffee is ready, but I'm on a roll here, so I'm not gonna grab it. Maybe I'll have my coffee after. So I just find like in internationally speaking, uh, I just like, if I want to go and work somewhere outside of maybe even Canada, like I know the States is very different for that too, that my college diploma isn't like, as recognizable as it would be in my own home 
place, especially if I didn't decide to stay in my hometown. So I'm not discouraging you from going to college whatsoever. I'm just telling you my experience with going to college and why I like quasi regret it. So another thing too is the like motivational factor. A lot of me has already learned what I learned in college that I'm already learning in university. And though I can imagine that like going on this like path, if you do go do like decide to do just college, then this won't be a factor for you whatsoever. Uh, but I find that I am had to repeat a lot of the classes. I actually only finally got credited for like all these classes that I have. I had to like redo macroeconomics and redo like statistics and just stuff that like maybe the first time around I could have been interested in it, but the second time around I sure as hell wasn't. But then again, this is like a very specific instance. I know not a lot of people decide to do that. And I know that Cambrian College actually does have like a beautiful, like you do two, three years at Cambrian and two years at Laurentian University, which in hindsight might have been the better idea than me doing three years there and then three years at a university that's completely outside of the province. But I'm glad I decided to get out of the town I was in. It just like, it, gave, it had like taught me enough already. I've decided to like pick a place where I knew no one. And I mean, it's pretty cool here. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying university. I'm gonna grab my coffee now though before I like lose my thoughts. So another thing that I have to mention is prospects. After I graduated, I didn't, I didn't actually actively search for jobs or anything like that. So I could be absolutely wrong, but I have heard of friends who search for jobs after just going to college. And I do know a lot of people who have made the same similar decision of me where they did end up going to university. Actually, when I was making the decision of like whether I wanted to go to university or just try and work on my own for like the, after my like three years in college, I remember someone saying like, one, like, Michelle, like, just get your degree, like, it's another few years, it's not that hard kind of thing, you already know what you're, like, talking about because you already learned it already. And that actually really spoke to me, it was just a random classmate that told me that. But another thing than that is that I didn't want to feel like I was being held back. I didn't want to, in 40 years, go to change my dream and apply for this job that required a university diploma. I didn't want to be... Not that it's a bad thing, but I didn't want to be older when I went to school. I'm already old enough here that it is at 23 when all my friends are 18 or 19 kind of thing, which um, which is a whole different story. And it's not that college never gave me opportunities. It's actually ironically that the networking I did in college that was able to give me better opportunities than uh, having a college diploma itself. Actually, nowhere I have like had a job since has like has been affected by having a college diploma, but it's helped me in different ways. I got an awesome internship at a marketing company just because one of my professors uh, worked at the marketing company and I was able to lurk, work alongside him and that was an amazing experience. And then that same professor ended, ended up helping me get a job at this art gallery for the next summer when I was back at home. And then now I work as a marketer, marketing manager in for a convenience store and because of the like uh, because of the like internship I did and uh and of course I mean I'm sure this one is probably the one that's been influenced by like going to college is that now I can be the marketing manager and build up my resume so in the end I do have to say that I will have a better time uh going into the workforce hopefully with like having go been to college but I think I would have been just like very okay in the end if I had just gotten my like my degree and so in comparison, I have to say that I really wish I did bypass college and just go straight to university. And I would say the big thought of that is, is the whole like financial matter. That's obviously what was my first point to this video is that like now I'm looking back at all the debt I have and like because I'm a mature student now, I do get a bit more grants, but I'm still like a little bit freaking out that I have that much debt and I'm only 23 kind of thing. Last five seconds of the video and I finally made myself a coffee with coconut milk and iced. And one thing I will say to wrap up this video is when I was going on Indeed.com and playing the what will I need to be what I want to be game, um, <laughs> not a bad game, um, I found a lot were asking for a, just a university degree, not in like any specific area. They're just like, hey, you needed a university degree. Obviously, I'm going to choose business because business is what I did before and it's something I'm passionate in. So uh, I found a lot of the times I was, I would have been held back by just only having a college diploma. And I, there's this one thing about me is that I do not want to feel held back and I do not want to feel like I didn't reach my full potential by like pursuing more education. And I kind of feel like now too is that 
like the idea of even getting a master's is like completely destroyed on me because I've already spent six years in school by the time I graduate like I'll be 25 and I just don't like want that or 24 25 I don't know anyways I just don't want I want to add like any more time and any more like financial means on top of that so I hope this video was informative. It's really all about my experience. Of course, with each individual person, it's gonna be different. I've met people who went to college and are now so successful and do so many great things, but I just find for me, it just, ugh. it might've been the case if I pursued it, but right now I just don't feel like it was the case. So I wanted to share this with you guys so that you're able to figure it out for yourself and make that decision that's not influenced by like the marketing of colleges or influenced by the friends that live in the town that you're gonna go to college in because it's just easier to go to college than like I don't know than actually like trying for university the decision for me to go to college in the first place was such a random decision that like I really like that's a whole other topic I hope this video is informative. I hope you guys don't feel like offended or anything if you do just have a college diploma. I also have a college diploma. Like I get, I get it and I can see the wonderful things I can do and no matter what, like I met some amazing people and it taught me a lot. I did have a good time there. I'm just telling you that in a like actually thinking through it way, college just wasn't for me. But saying that, I know there's a lot of programs that are like solely college and solely college for a reason and no way am I bashing on college for this video because I know that you can go and web design and I know you can do different programs like that that just make sense to go to college for whereas university of course is theory but if it's a more hands-on thing then yeah go to college like do that just like if it's something like business then like really think about why you're going to and what kind of job you want and do the research before you apply or else you may end up like me in a little bit of debt Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee that I just made. Bye.